Hey everybody, XP Corruption X here once again with another Minecraft commentary. Right here we're rocking the 1.8 update and uh, got a few cool things to show you. First of all, I'm working on this digital piston clock. This is my first trial over here. Lots of stuff in the back. Uh, I have a better version which I will show you in a few seconds. Also, I got some sugar cane farm going on over here. Uh, what else is new on this Minecraft world? Um, over here I got a big treat for you guys. You see this extremely large building here and it's really big and I'm lagging because it's trying to load the chunks. Uh, this really big building. I got something special inside for you that I've been working on for a while and I'm not going to show you guys yet until it's completely done and working. But, um, uh, so hopefully you guys can look forward to that. It's, it's pretty huge. <laughs> as you can clearly see so that's about it for this world so I'm just gonna get out of here and I made a new minecraft world for making redstone stuff and whatnot and got the new version of my clock uh... so let's go ahead and turn this on over here and it starts counting one two and I tried to get this as close to a real life second as I could. It's not there yet, and it's not completed yet. After I, I wanted to upload this for Wednesday, but uh, in the future I will have this go on to minute hands or minute time, maybe even hours. Maybe I'll have this running for a whole day and see how close I can get it. I think that'd be pretty neat. Um, and one of the hardest parts about this was trying to get this to flip. Um, so. You'll, maybe you'll understand in a second. So let's go behind the workings of this. So right here we got this piston clock thing. Uh, how it works is there's four torches at the bottom. And when the thing passes over, it provides a path current, pushes the piston, and whatnot. And every time it gets over here, it sends a path current and sets these things going. So basically, each little tick each line, like this line, that line, that line, that line, there's seven of them, they're all hooked up to a set of pistons and all run back to a single wire, which is over here. And in case you guys didn't know, electricity can run through solid blocks, but not through glass. So, uh, according to the number, sorry, it's really loud over here. Um, so if I wanted to do one, I'd pit, pick the wire that lines up here and here, and I'd put, uh, wool there so electricity could run through and I'd put glass everywhere else so everything else stays off and then this just cycles through according to the clock really fast and lots of stuff going it's really loud I'm sorry um and over here these things are always on and yeah over here we got the and this last section is for is for flipping the minute so there's eight of them. And when that wall comes over here, it turns this on, these go. And change that number. And the problem I was having with this is if I started the clock at zero zero and it's supposed to flip at zero, then this would flip the one automatically. And a lot of other problems. So what I did was not sure if you guys will understand this, but I hooked up an AND gate, half of an AND gate over here to half of or to a NAND gate. So basically, power's off, nothing comes through. Power's on, nothing comes through. But if the power's on, then it goes off. Then you get a short burst of current. And basically, that's how that works. And I also hooked up to, hooked it up to the nine instead of the zero because it's really slow. And yeah. So basically how that last little bit works is I made it over here and what happens is uh, this piece is always on, this piece, no, this piece is set on, this piece is always on, sorry, and when you turn this on, or when you put current here, this goes off, this goes on and basically keeps this off, and while this is not on, this keeps this off. But, oh, it's confusing, I'm sorry. If you understand, you understand. If you don't, you don't. And, yeah, so that's basically the workings of this. Lots of wire. Took a lots of practice, lots of time. Took days on this just to get it right. But the building of it actually doesn't do that. Uh, 
so yeah, that's that's about all I got for you today. Uh, short update, or at least it seems like to me. Uh, so next one, maybe I'll have the surprise for you guys ready. Uh, I most definitely will have some other numbers going. Not sure if I'll have them working, but they will be going. Uh, so that's about it. Look forward. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next time. And this has been XP Corruption X. I will see you right after this clock flips to zero zero.